Hello viewers, in this video we will see sales margin variance. This sales margin variance is nothing but it explains the relationship between the budgeted profit and the actual profit earned. Okay, this budgeted profit is nothing but it is the estimate of the organization. Okay, and the actual profit is the profit earned by the organization. Okay, so this variance is the difference between the budgeted profit and the actual profit earned by the organization. Okay, for a specified period of time. Okay, and this variance is basically classified into sale price variance and sale volume variance and again this volume variance is classified into quantity variance and mix variance okay uh, this is similar to that of the sales variance based on value okay in this video we'll see the sales variance based on profit okay in the previous video we saw sales variance based on value okay but Profit is considered here, okay. Based on profit, we are classifying this sales variance, okay. And these are the basic formulas we are supposed to find before we go into the problem and uh, finding the variances, okay. Because uh, if we find this thing, it will be easy for us to work out the variance problem, okay. First one is budgeted profit. This is nothing but budgeted quantity into budgeted profit per unit. And next is actual profit, actual quantity into actual profit per unit. And standard profit is actual quantity into budgeted profit per unit. Okay. Before we work out the problem, we have to find these three things. Okay. Then it will be really easy for you to work out the variance problem. Any kind of variance problem, the sales variance based on profit, you can work out using these three basic formulas. Okay. And now we'll see the formula to ascertain the sales variance based on profit. And first one is sales margin variance. Okay. This is also known as value variance. Budgeted profit minus actual profit. And sale price variance. Standard profit minus actual profit. Volume variance is budgeted profit minus standard profit. Sales mix variance. Revised standard profit minus standard profit. And Sales quantity variance, budgeted profit minus revised standard profit. Okay. Here we can be able to find this revised standard profit using this formula. That is revised standard quantity into budgeted profit per unit. Okay. And I hope you all know how to find this revised standard quantity. Yes, this is a similar formula which we used for uh, material and uh, sales variance based on value. Okay, Total quantity of actual mix divided by total quantity of standard mix into standard quantity of each product. And this is the verification used here. Um, see, sales value variance that is sales margin variance is equal to sale price variance plus sales volume variance. And this volume variance is nothing but mix variance plus quantity variance. Okay. What we used for uh, sale variance uh, based on value. The same we are going to use it here. Okay. The only thing is we have to consider the profit here. There we consider the value of sale. But here profit plays an important role. Okay. And now we'll see one problem. From the following particulars calculate sales margin variance. Okay. Uh, the budgeted sales and actual sales was given and selling price per unit was given for budget one and standard cost was given and for actual selling price was also given okay using this cost and selling price we have to find the profit in order to work out this sales margin variance okay here we have cost and here we have the sale price that is the budgeted sale price and here we have the actual selling price okay so now first step we have to find out the profit per unit for budgeted profit also we have to find and actual profit also we have to find okay yes let's see how to do this problem i have written the information which is given in the problem okay and now i have to find out the profit that is budgeted profit per unit i have to find see the standard cost is 12 per unit and selling price is 20 so here the profit will be 8 per unit okay for product m and similarly for product 
n cost is 9 and sale price is 15 so 6 rupees is the profit per unit yes 8 for m and 6 for n okay first we have to find this profit then it will be easy for us to do the problem okay and now we have to find out the actual profit okay the cost is 12 rupees and the sale price actual selling price is 24 so here the profit will be 12 rupees okay 12 rupees per unit is the actual profit and for uh, product n the cost is 9 and the sale price is 12 so the actual profit of product n is 3 rupees okay so i have written yes profit for product m is 12 and for product n is 3 okay using this we can do the problem yes first one we have to calculate the budgeted profit actual profit and standard profit we will see the formula to calculate budgeted profit budgeted quantity into budgeted profit per unit okay this is the budgeted profit per unit and this one is the budgeted quantity so for m 600 into 8 and for n 400 into 6 yes and this is the budgeted profit for m and n similarly we have to find it for actual profit okay we'll see the formula actual quantity into actual profit per unit actual quantity is this 800 and 600 and actual profit per unit is 12 rupees and 3 so 800 into 12 600 into 3 okay yes this is the actual profit for m and this is the actual profit for n and now we have to find the standard profit and the formula is actual quantity into budgeted profit per unit this is the actual quantity 800 and 600 and this is the budgeted profit per unit okay 8 and 6 okay 800 into 8 600 into 6 yes and 6400 is the standard profit for m and 3600 is the standard profit for n okay now we found the budgeted profit actual profit and standard profit so now we can easily calculate the variances that is the sales margin variance okay i have written the information which we found okay first formula to calculate the sales margin variance is budgeted profit minus actual profit see budgeted profit is 4800 for m and for n it is 2400 and actual profit is 9600 for m and 1800 for n yes okay and now see here 4800 minus 9600 will get it in negative as i said earlier um, the sales variance if we get it in negative figure we have to write it favorable okay this is just opposite to cost variance okay in cost variance if we get it in negative figure we'll write adverse but in sales variance for both based on uh, value and for this based on profit the sales variance if we get it in uh, negative figure we have to write it as favorable okay if it is in positive we have to write adverse see here we have positive that is 2500 minus 1800 is positive 600 no so we have to write adverse here so one is favorable and the other one is adverse so we have to subtract this two yes 4200 is the sales margin variance okay shall we move on to the next formula yes price variance equal to standard profit minus actual profit standard profit is 6400 for m and 3600 for n and actual profit is 9600 for m and 1800 for n we have to substitute yes we will again get one favorable one adverse so we have to subtract this so 3200 minus 1800 will get 1400 favorable okay that is the sale price variance okay and next variance that is volume variance we'll see budgeted profit minus standard profit okay budgeted profit is 4800 for m and for n it is 2400 okay and standard sale profit is 6400 for m and 3600 for n okay if we substitute we'll get 6600 for m and for n 1200 both are favorable so we have to add this 
okay so the sale volume variance is 2800 and next one is sales mix variance here we have to find revised standard profit minus standard profit before we calculate this mix variance we have to find this revised standard profit okay for that the formula is revised standard quantity into budgeted profit per unit okay for that the revised standard quantity is to be found okay we have to find this revised standard quantity and the formula i hope you all know yes total quantity for actual mix divided by total quantity for standard mix into standard quantity of each product okay for m the total uh, actual quantity is 1400 and the standard mix is 1000 so 1400 divided by 1000 into the standard quantity you no know, this 600 for m and this 400 for n we have to substitute yes we'll get 840 units for m and 560 units for n and using this we can find this revised standard profit okay this is nothing but revised standard quantity that is this 840 and 560 into budgeted profit per unit budgeted profit per unit we already found that is for m it is 8 and for n is 6 okay that we have to substitute here yes and we got the revised standard profit it is 6720 for m and 3360 for n okay and now we are to apply this in this formula that is revised standard profit minus standard profit okay yes standard profit we know yes we found that is for m is 6400 and 3600 for n okay yes we got one in adverse and one in favorable so we have to subtract this two so we'll get 80 adverse because this is the highest value so that we have to write adverse sales mix variance is 80 adverse and now we have to find out the sales quantity variance and the formula is budgeted profit minus revised standard profit revised standard profit is nothing but whatever we found it for sales mix variance that we can use it here yes the 6720 and 3360 okay budgeted profit we already know that is 4800 for m and 2400 for n okay so we have to substitute in the formula so we'll get both are favorable so we can add this two so sales quantity variance is 2880 2880 favorable yes we found all the sales margin variances okay and i have written all those and now we can verify whether our answers are correct okay first verification step starts with sales value variance sale price variance plus sales volume variance sale price variance is 1400 favorable and volume variance is 2800 favorable so both are favorable no we have to add yes we proved okay 1400 plus 2800 will get 4200 okay and the next verification is sales volume variance for that mix variance plus quantity variance see mix is 80 and quantity is 2880 one in adverse and one in favorable so we have to subtract this two so we'll get 2800 favorable yes we proved okay i hope now you can able to calculate this sales margin variance right and i have given you a simple problem for you to practice you just work out this problem and come on the answer and you have any doubt in any problem you just share the problem with me and i will do it for you thank you for your patient listening